So recently we talked about how EU is making Windows 11 better by forcing Microsoft to make Windows apps uninstallable, for example, Microsoft Edge. But you can only do this if you live in one of the European country. So this is actually a special feature made for European countries. And guess what? Someone already found a way to enable this feature in any country like you don't have to live in European country to get this feature. So I saw this article in my newsfeed. It's by the Neo Win. So basically this article shows you how to enable this feature in any country. So my tutorial is going to be based on this tutorial. And one more thing, according to Neo Win, uh, the founder of this trick was actually desk modder. So yeah, that's that. Now let's begin with the tutorial, how to enable this feature. So before we begin with the tutorial, uh, there are a few things you need to know. As of me making this video, this feature is only available to Windows Insider in release preview channel, which is almost like a finalized update, which will be available in coming few weeks or months. So to check whether you have this update or not in your system, you can go to about section of your PC and check your OS build. If it's 22631, 0.2787 or above this means you have the update and you can use this feature if you see the os build version lower than this then do not try this tutorial it won't work so just wait for the update once you get it then come back here in this video and then follow the tutorial so i am actually using a release preview channel and you can see i already have the update but even in release preview, the feature is not available to everyone. So for now, we have to enable it. So to enable this feature, we need this tool called Vive tool or Vive tool, whatever you want to call it. I'm using it for the first time. Forgive me if I pronounced it wrong. So basically, this is a free and open source tool which lets you enable and disable features in windows so using this we're going to enable the feature that we are looking for so download it first download the normal zip one if you have an arm pc download the arm one all right mostly you will have a uh, normal x86 pc so download the x86 one now unzip it and maybe just uh, rename it you don't have to rename it but just rename it to whatever you like now copy that extracted folder to c drive again you don't have to do this i'm doing this because i want to make everything simple and easy for you guys so just follow me if you don't know how to properly use command prompt this will make everything really simple and easy now look for command prompt cmd and run this as administrator just like that now in here type cd space c colon slash wipe and then uh, just hit enter now after that we need to type this here wipe tool slash enable slash id and this I just copied and pasted this easy peasy and then hit enter now it should say successfully set feature configurations once you see this close this window and restart your pc once all right one more really important thing please pay attention <laughs> all right when this update and feature is available to everyone you don't have to follow this step or you don't have to use this vive tool i used it right now because this update is available in preview channel and the feature is turned off by default but in your case let's say you're watching this video after a month or two um, and you already have the update available and the feature also be enabled by default so you don't have to follow this step all right now once we have the feature enabled and everything we need to go to the c drive and then windows and then look for system32 folder all right and then we need to look for this file i'm just going to simply search for it this is called integrated services region policy set it's a json file first 
I recommend you guys to copy this and save it somewhere if anything goes wrong so you have the backup file all right since this is a system file we need to get uh, the permission or get the access to this you can do this by going into the properties security and then advance and then change the honor by clicking on change and then type in here administrators and click on check names and then hit ok apply all right uh, basically you have to allow the permission to you know edit this delete this and everything actually let me show you guys even better way i can just simply right click file manage and take ownership just like that with one click if you're using windows 11 and you're not using shell software then please start using it it's an amazing application i have a full dedicated video in this software this is a must-have software if you use windows 11. so now we have taken the ownership we are gonna uh, open this with notepad all right and this is how this json file looks all right so now you can see here we have different options here first one is edge is uninstallable it says disabled now simply we just have to enable it it says disabled we're gonna do enable all right once it is enabled you can see it is enabled for these countries these are european countries where you can uninstall microsoft edge all right uh, if i go and check my region settings you can see it's uh, united states so it won't work even if i enable this so in that case what i have to do here is i'm just going to replace one of these names and type in here us united states one more thing actually open registry editor all right and then go to edge key user expand it default expand it and then go to control panel international and then click on geo all right once you click on geo you can see in name uh, the data is us so what happens is when you install windows 11 and during installation whatever country you select that will be your you know uh, country which windows will use okay no matter what you do in like region settings you change it to whatever country you want to change like let's say one of the european countries it won't work the re in registry editor it will always be whatever country you selected during installation so during this windows installation i select the us so it's always gonna stay us actually i can also edit the registry and modify it to whatever country i want and maybe you guessed it right you can also change the value to whatever country you want or like one of these countries so you don't have to uh, you know replace uh, your country code in here but we're gonna leave the registry editor alone i'm not gonna touch it all right so basically we're gonna replace or change or add our devices um, you know uh, country here so you can see edge is uninstallable uh, enabled and us same thing goes for uh, web searches i'm just gonna replace it to us you can add it or replace it there are many other features that can be enabled and disabled actually so you can go ahead and look for all the features if you want to there are quite a lot of features actually so for now i'm just gonna you know uninstall the microsoft engine here so it's enabled uh, set it to us and now simply we just have to save it all right i'm just gonna replace it Oh, it says you don't have permission to oh i thought i took the permission okay let me let me try this i'm just gonna save this in my downloads folder for now and it says i don't have permissions i should have the permission because i did this take ownership thingy yeah i did now i'm just gonna simply delete it can i okay it didn't say anything i'm just gonna simply replace this with uh, the saved json file all right so let's actually try to do that all right continue yeah okay <laughs> we can actually check this 
again open with notepad just once enabled us edge uninstallable everything is looking cool all right we did it now what we have to do is restart our pc once right so right now maybe it's still in beta that's why it's happening if you try to uninstall this from the settings you can see there is no uninstall option it's just a bug i think for now because it's still in like development and we forcefully enabled this feature this feature isn't available to everybody right now so when it's available it will be easy peasy all right what you can also do is go to control panel and then uninstall program oh i don't see the uninstall button i should see an install button i think what i have to do is first go back to apps install the apps and then look for edge and once just once modify it you have that modify option repair it all right it's going to download the microsoft edge once and install it one more time okay reinstalled successfully i don't think i will have the uninstall option here so let's go back to control panel yeah i know that it's a little bit of work in here but now yeah you can see once we repair modify the microsoft edge we have a uninstall option so you want to see whether it works or not actually it works i'm just gonna click on uninstall and yeah oh i have to close <laughs> yeah there are a little bit of work as i said so it looks like the microsoft edge is still running in background what i'm gonna do is oh look at that 11 processes running in the background so i'm gonna end the process and uh, yeah that's it i think uninstall yeah finally <laughs> uninstall and it's gone goodbye i do actually use microsoft edge and chrome browser at the same time for different reasons i don't actually want to uninstall microsoft edge but guess what i will actually uninstall microsoft edge because i don't want it to be a system app because i want it to be uninstallable so whenever i don't need it i can uninstall it whenever i need it i can just reinstall it and all that just want a little bit of freedom <laughs> yeah that's it hope you enjoyed it if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me you can always do the comment and yeah i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye bye